From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, everyone, it's going to be a warm and muggy overnight. Tonight should stay dry. Could be an isolated little thunder shower right along the north coast east of Cleveland. But otherwise, look at these temps. Warm and humid 70s, upper 60s. Tomorrow, greater Cleveland, a little cooler, 83 isolated showers. Farther south toward Akron and Canton, you could get close to new record highs again. 88 degrees, still warm. Storms late afternoon. Now, seven day big changes here. 78 Thursday, scattered rain and thunder. How about Friday? 59 degrees. Going to be a very chilly, breezy day. Low clouds, feeling like fall. Saturday morning, you're going to start off some inland areas in the 30s, bigger cities, 40s, 68 Saturday. Nice night for a clam bake, right? As long as you've got a hoodie and a sweater, 71 on Sunday with more scattered rain. Danita. Now here's a look at today's top stories. A suspect is in custody. Kent State University police say that a female student was walking on the track near the Deweese Health Center this morning when a man came up to her and pulled down her pants. She fell but wasn't seriously hurt. The man ran off, but police say he was arrested a short time ago for gross sexual imposition, assault, and obstructing official business. 22 people in Ohio have now been hospitalized for sickness linked to vaping. Now, Governor Mike DeWine is urging the Ohio General Assembly to pass legislation to ban flavored vaping products, including menthol and mint. It's an effort to stop kids from getting hooked. The number of Ohio high schoolers who use e-cigarettes has more than doubled in just the last three years. The number of abortions performed in Ohio dropped 2 percent last year to a record low. There were more than 20,000 400 abortions performed in Ohio in 2018. Three out of the five women who had an abortion were in their 20s, and four out of five were not married. 37% of the abortions done in Ohio were performed in Cuyahoga County. That's the highest rate in the state. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.